Our South Africans are waiting with eager anticipation to see the composition of President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet. Now, in his inauguration speech, the president promised to put together a capable government tasked with creating jobs and bridging the inequality gap. He has also warned that those who are opposed to the government of national unity, that South Africans will not allow their dreams of a prosperous life to be derailed. Dr. Imtias Suleiman is founder of Gift of the Givers, and he's done some tremendous work both here at home and abroad. And all of this work has been to better people's lives. And he joins us in studio this morning for his views on the coming five years. Dr. Suleiman, what a pleasure to have you with us. Good morning. Thank you very much. So your thoughts on the inauguration. You were there in person yesterday while uh, many South Africans were glued to their television sets, but you were there in person. Your impressions? Well, it was, it was a beautiful day for a start. The weather was in favor. And I liked what the president said, you know, in the beginning. He spoke about the challenges we had. The voters were unhappy. He was very honest about, you know, the performance of the ANC and that people send a message they're not happy with what was going on. So I was very happy he mentioned all the negative things. In other words, the challenges, they're not necessarily negative, but the challenges and what we need to fix. Then he said, I, I was very happy that he spoke about the country working collectively together in the interest of the people. He spoke about Africa enhancing itself. But here's the problem. You know, we, when he says that we are working with all political parties to act in the interest of the country, now that's a big challenge because 25% of the, of the electorate has been left out. There's no EFF and no MK in, in the government of national unity. So to me, that's not a government of national unity. Mm -hmm. It's a government of selective unity. Could you not say, though, that it is not the ANC's fault? They say that they have spoken with all of the parties. It's the FF, it's the MKP that does not want to join. 